to date we've explored less than 5% of the ocean. The ocean is the lifeblood of Earth, covering more than 70% of the planet's surface, driving weather, regulating temperature and ultimately supporting all living organisms. Studies suggest there are as many as 8 undiscovered whale and dolphin species, 10 undescribed marine reptiles and thousands of sponges, crustaceans, algae plants and other species still to be found. The average depth of the ocean is about 12,100 feet. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep and is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep is approximately 36,200 feet deep. So with this knowledge we should keep an open mind about what could be laying at the bottom of the sea. The Baltic Sea Anomaly is a 60 meter diameter circular rock-like formation on the floor of the Northern Baltic Sea. It was discovered by Peter Lindbergh, Dennis Asberg and their Swedish Ocean X diving team in June 2011. The discovery was made on June 19, 2011 during a dive in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland while searching for an old shipwreck. The group describes themselves as treasure hunters and salvage operators who specialise in underwater searches for historic artefacts. According to Ocean X, the formation has an appearance of rough granite and is 3 to 4 metres thick, and approximately 60 metres in diameter. The anomaly stands on an 8 metre tall pillar-like feature and is located at a depth of 85 to 90 metres. During one of their expeditions, it was reported that the divers exploring the anomaly said their equipment stopped working as they approached it. Professional diver Stefan Hoggerborn said, Anything electric out there and the satellite phone as well stopped working when we were above the object. When we got about 200 meters, it turned on again, and when we got back over the object, it didn't work. Those who believe this is a UFO have said this is a common case of UFO interference. UFOs have been notorious for stopping automobiles at close range. These effects are not limited to automobiles, but occur with all kinds of vehicles that are powered by internal combustion engines. Incidents of engine interference or failure have been reported for aircraft, motorcycles, trucks, buses, power mowers, tractors and other farm machinery. In all cases, the engines ran normally after the UFO had departed. The crew of a fishing vessel reported that a huge triangular object had appeared and was hovering nearby. The ship-to-shore radio transmission was immediately cut off. The radio call was resumed about 15 minutes later to say that all electronics on the ship had failed, and that the crew had seen the object move away then descend suddenly into the sea. As the object disappeared, all electronic power was restored. This was one of several reports from the Iceland area of unknown objects between 1992 and 1997. Many of these objects were seen entering or emerging from the sea. A security engineer was driving near Norfolk when he saw a blue light flashing in his rearview mirror, and thought that he was being followed by a police car. When he stopped the car and got out, his lights went off before coming back on again. He then saw that the blue light had gone overhead and was now some distance ahead spinning in the air. He immediately turned the car back and reported the incident to the police. On August the 27th, 2016, Southwest Airlines Flight 3472 travelling from New Orleans to Orlando encountered a serious problem. One of the two engines on the reliable Boeing 737 aircraft exploded in mid-air, causing the plane to shake uncontrollably. Flight 3472 was quickly diverted to Florida where it made an emergency landing. No injuries were reported by the 99 passengers or 5 crew members on board. The only strange things noted were by one passenger who saw lights in the distance outside his window moments before the crash, and tweets by others who claimed every watch worn by passengers was inexplicably off by 4 minutes from New Orleans time. Some have suggested the lights and lost time could be due to UFO interference. The Ocean X team reported on their second expedition they found something that looks like a staircase and a round black hole that goes directly into the structure. The mystery surrounding the unknown object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea deepened when geologist Steve Weiner said that according to his tests, the object was not a geological formation, suggesting that the structure was in fact made from metals which nature could not reproduce itself. The two divers had never witnessed such an incredible spectacle in over 20 years of underwater research. They compared the size of the object as being similar in length to a passenger plane. It was also mentioned by the pair that the trail leading towards the unknown object could have suggested that it was some sort of crash that happened there, and this thing had somehow skidded along the sea floor. Outside of the object on the surface, the researchers have also reported seeing unusual carvings, almost like unnatural looking shapes. The anomaly sits at a depth of 90 meters and waters in the area are always muddy, factors that make it virtually impossible to film or photograph the site. A former Swedish naval officer speculated that the sonar image could show the remains of a World War II German anti-submarine device, while others have considered that it could be a damaged gun turret from an old battleship. 
Lindbergh acknowledges that the object could instead be a natural formation, such as a meteorite that penetrated the ice during the Ice Age or an underwater volcano. However, he gives the impression that scientists are baffled by it. Geologists, for example, have supposedly told him the object cannot be a volcano. The divers gave samples of stone from the object to an associate professor of geology at Stockholm University. Swedish tabloids quote him as saying, I was surprised when I researched the material, I found a great black stone that could be a volcanic rock. My hypothesis is that this structure was formed during the Ice Age many thousands of years ago. In other words, an expert appears to back up their claims that this seafloor object is unexplained, and perhaps is an Atlantis-like ancient building complex. After being consulted, however, neither he nor any other experts contacted about the Baltic Sea object think there is anything mysterious about it. He explains that the samples are exactly what one would expect to see in a glacial basin, which is what the Baltic Sea is, a region carved out by glacier ice long ago. Along with the mundane rocks, the divers also gave him a loose piece of basaltic rock, a type of rock that forms from hardened lava. This is out of place on the sea floor, but not unusual. He states the whole northern Baltic region is so heavily influenced by glacier thawing processes. Both the feature and rock samples are likely to have formed in connection with glacier and post-glacier processes. Possibly these rocks were transported there by glaciers. So that was the mystery of the Baltic Sea anomaly. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.